let me ask you something deep have you ever tried to understand higher dimensions and ended up more confused than when you started videos throw around terms like 4d 5d 10d like we are all theoretical physicists but what do they really mean and how do you actually visualize something beyond your 3d life well what if i told you that all your doubts about every single dimension from 0 to 11 can be solved right here right now in this one single video not with math not with complex equations but with something you already understand a simple book it's not harry potter it's not a science textbook it's you your entire life your experiences every decision you have ever made all written in these pages today i'm going to show you how this ordinary object can help you grasp the extraordinary we will climb from the zeroth to the eleventh dimension step by step page by page in a way that will permanently shift the way you think about reality and trust me as the dimensions go higher the ideas will get more and more mind-blowing you will start to see reality in ways you never imagined so don't blink because by the end of this video you won't just understand higher dimensions you will feel them deeply clearly and simply and once that happens you will never look at life or yourself the same way again now let's begin our climb through higher dimensions let's first start with the zeroth dimension the point friends this is a point on this book you see no length no width no depth just existence like an idea that hasn't been born no where no when just is can you imagine being just that not even a speck just the idea of a speck now we will discuss the first dimension the line friends look here i have two points two zero dimensional points and i have connected them with a straight line this line is still has no width and no depth just length like a sentence in your book without any context linear you can only go forward or backward have you ever felt like your life is just moving in one straight line now let's move on to the second dimension the page as you can see using this book i am going to explain this uh, here it is flat area two dimensional it has two dimensions length and width and you are only limited to these two dimensions but you cannot enter into the book which is the depth part the depth dimension the third dimension so it represents a 2d area two dimensional area okay so you can any person who is a flat lender can move only in the length or in the width and it covers the area part okay it's like a drawing on the paper you exist but flat friends if you were a stick figure on this page would you know the third dimension even exist now let's discuss the third dimension this this is you in 3d length width and the depth finally you can move in all directions you are the reader now not just the drawing but here is the twist you can flip pages and can see your past and your future now comes the fourth dimension time imagine reading this book starting from the page 1 to page 400 okay that is time 4d is movement through time you are not just in a space but in a story that is unfolding but what if you could jump to any page any point in your life that's where 5d enters so here comes the fifth dimension of alternate timelines here we have two volumes of the same book volume one and volume two having same beginning but 
completely different endings. You made one different choice and boom, new reality. Friends, 5D is like a shelf of books, all starting the same way but diverging with every decision. Friends, here is a quick question for you. If you could go back and pick any different choice in life, which one would you change? Let me know in the comments. Now we will discuss the sixth dimension, all possible beginnings and endings. Now imagine a shelf with every possible book, books that start differently and differently, every possible version of you, every reality imaginable. That's 6D, all timelines, all possibilities. It's like existence as a multiverse, wild, right? Now let's move on to the seventh dimension, the leap. In 7D, you are no longer flipping pages or even choosing books. You are leaping across entire shelves, across universes with totally different laws of physics. Not just different you, but different realities. Imagine a world where gravity pushes up, where fire is cold, where time loops backward. That is 70. Now, the eighth dimension, the infinite library blueprint. Now, we are outside the library, looking at the blueprint of all shelves, books and letters that could ever exist. 8D holds infinite libraries, each one like a different matrix of reality. It's the design of a space beyond comprehension. But we are still going to the ninth dimension of all possible laws. Think bigger. What if every library was created using different rules? In 9D, not just the stories, but the fundamental rules of existence can change like a reality where math doesn't work or where consciousness is physical. Insane, right? Now comes the 10th dimension, everything that can exist. Friends, 10D is the container of everything that can ever exist. Every possible timeline, universe, law, story and version of you simultaneously. It's the final layer of all existence almost now the 11th dimension the master symphony friends scientists believe 11d is where strings vibrate to create everything like notes in a symphony it is the dimension that binds them all where consciousness energy and form become one we cannot see it we cannot fully grasp it but maybe just maybe it's where the universe dreams itself into being so, what if this whole time you were never just reading your story, but actually writing it? Maybe you are not in the book, maybe you are the author. So friends, this is all for now. I hope you found the video interesting and informative. For more such videos, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.